Hi, Sadie. How are you? Great. Thank you for meeting with me today. Um, I think I'm really going to be able to help you. So uh, I see here in my notes that my assistant took that you would like to have um, some makeup to use for one of your client's looks. Okay, and what kind of look would you like? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Okay, so, well, for Adele, um, she uses lots of neutrals and browns, and she also looks quite nice with gold. Um, I'm a redhead myself, so we tend to use some of the same looks, and also I get a little inspiration from her. So, um, okay, well, I've already pulled some of the makeup I think might work, so, oh, no, it's no problem. You're so welcome. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's talk about some of these and I'll explain to you how to use them, okay? Great. Okay, so the first thing with any client that I always do is to cleanse and tone. So once the skin has been freshly cleaned, I take a cotton ball and just give it a quick turn and lightly soak the cotton ball and then go over the entire face. And once that's completely dry, I will use my moisturizers on the client. And if your client is um, a little oilier, like I tend to be, I use the Aquanil Lotion. It's a hydrocortisone USP of 1%, antipuritic, anti-itch and non-comedogenic. So this is good for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. And for oily, an oilier skin like myself, it um, isn't very thick. It's quite thin actually, but it's enough coverage to give the right amount of moisture. The other thing I do is I mix. If I have a client that's gonna be in an outdoor event um, during the day, I will use a little bit of this. Um, it's an SPF of 40, and this one's by Clinique. And it's kind of, it's colored, but it's not, um, it won't change the color of your skin. If you can see, this one's about the lightest one they have. So I add about, um, you know, a little less than a dime size to the lotion and then mix it up really good and then apply it either with your hands or a sponge all over the face and I bring it into the neck. So once all the lotions are drying, depending on, um, again, if your client has a drier or oiler skin or maybe just a more mature skin, I like to use an eye cream not only for moisture, um, around the eyes, but also as a base, because um, I find it helps the makeup stick really well. So I use the Ultra Lift um, Anti-Wrinkle Eye Firming Cream from Garnier. I can't say that I notice it helps wrinkles at all, but it does act as a really wonderful base and keeps your the lines and the skin around your eye nice and moist so that you don't get too much creasing or anything. So I let all that dry. Um, you could also use, if someone has a really dry skin, you might find it useful to use an extremely moisturizing cream like this one from Benefit, which sm smells really lovely as well, uh, but that might be better for someone with a dry skin. So I will let you use all of these just in case, um, just in case your client needs them. Also, something I've been using lately with my clients is this pore minimizer and, and T-Zone Shine Control like by Clinique. Um, and it actually works really well. You only need just a tiny amount and it's very smooth and uh, creamy and it has a little bit of an unpleasant smell but it's not too bad and it goes away very quickly. Um, but it just fills in the pores and I I've been using a little bit also um, on some fine lines, so it's good for that. 
So again, you'll let everything dry. And then um, last thing I do before I start to apply the makeup is once the lotions have all dried, I like to use a primer. And um, I know in your kit you probably already have a primer, so um, I'm not going to give you one of those today. But one tip that I do, um, especially for my clients with oil or air skin, is that I will use as a primer, and you're going to think this is strange, but the Philips Milk of Magnesia, the plain one with no sugar added. So it says sugar-free, um, and it's a, the original one. I've tried off-brand ones, and they don't work as well, but basically what you'll do if your client has oily skin, once everything has dried, you'll apply about maybe, mm, not quite a quarter, maybe a little bigger than a dime size amount, and then I like to use a sponge. I get a clean, new clean one every couple of days, and this one is a very non-porous sponge, so the liquid inside will just kind of sit on the sponge rather than be absorbed. And I just lightly get a little bit and apply it all over the face and down the areas where the, the person has problems with oil. And for me personally, I apply it all over my face. And you want to rub it um, smoothly and evenly until it's completely rubbed in. Um, and if you don't do that, you might tend to get some white uh, spots where it dries, but that's okay. You can just lightly wipe it and it'll go away. Um, another thing you should be careful of if you choose to use this is don't over apply. Sometimes you have a tendency to think if you use more of a product that um, it's better, but not in this case. If you use too much, you might actually make their skin oilier, but if you just work lightly, um, the skin should feel tacky at first a little bit, and then when it dries, it will be perfect for applying makeup. Okay, so that's just a tip I have for your oilier clients. Okay, so once you have the skin all nice and prepared, um, the next step I do is I go ahead and, or actually sometimes while it's drying, um, I go ahead and apply my eyelash curler. And you'll find not all clients need the eyelash curler. Some of them have beautiful lashes naturally. But um, if you're like me, they're a little harder, um, need a little more work. So I would pump this a couple of times on each side to curl them. And um, depending if you use false eyelashes on your client or not, you might find it helpful to curl them a little more after you apply the lashes as well, just so that they all blend in. So once you've done that, um, I apply the Alme Wake Up Under Eye Concealer. And this one is in O10 Light. This is the lightest one they have. And I get a little of this and I put it under the eye and a little on the brow bone and on the actual lid itself. Um, and I try to work it in to create under the eye up to the, about the midline next to the eyebrow, the, what's, what I call the brightening effect. So it kind of makes a triangle shape around the eye and up to the top of the cheekbone near the eyebrow. Um, so that it creates that illusion that it's lighter. So I pat that in really light with my ring finger. And you don't want to make sure it's not creased or anything. Then I go ahead and set it. Um, and you'll need this brush. It's just a soft, fluffy brush. And I usually pick up... I used to use one of the Laura Mercier colors, but they're a little more expensive. So I've just been using like a matte, very light matte, creamy color. This one's by Revlon, and as you see, they're usually at quite the discount. 
Um, so I get a little of that and run it under the eyes and around um, the areas just under the eye where I've applied the concealer. And you want to leave the eyelid itself because now that you've applied the concealer, it'll serve as a good base. So any red areas or anything I have, I use this white. And then I take some... This one is an 08 Transparency Neutral. It's the loose powder from Clinique. And just run a little of that around the eye as well. The next thing I do before I um, apply the rest of the face powders is using this tiny little brush. This one's by Trish McAvoy. It's got a very sort of fine, stiff point. I take the um, morning, it's either morning light or morning starlight, I'm not sure which one. And it's kind of like a, it's a yellow champagne -y color, I don't know if you can see. So I get a little of this and just apply it in the tear ducts. And your client may or may not like this, but it does apply like a, um, it does give a brightening effect to the eyes. I have seen Adele do it in a couple makeup looks, but for the most part, they keep her eyes so neutral that um, adding the light element in the corner of the eye might be too much. So once I've done that, I use this brush. It's like a stiff concealer or foundation brush, but I actually like to use it to apply the loose powder. And um, on my oil or air clients, I don't use a liquid foundation. I personally, once again, have the oily skin, so I like to use just the uh, pressed powder. This one's by Glow Minerals, and it's in the color Natural Fair. So I apply that all over the face as my base color, and then to make the skin even more flawless, um, especially for your clients that want the Adele look. She has quite a light colored skin. I just apply more of the Clinique um, Loose Powder and 08 Neutral. So once that's brushed in all over the face, it'll be a nice porcelain canvas for the rest of the makeup look. Um, but my phone's actually ringing right now. I'm going to take a call. Um, with a client, so I hope you don't mind, and I'll be back in one second, and we'll talk about the rest of the products, okay? All right, thank you for your patience. See you in a minute.